So LeBron James and his best friend Maverick Carter just raised $100 million to start a new black media company, unapologetic black media company called Spring Kill. By the way, brilliant move and brilliant timing on LeBron James and Maverick Carter to do it now because they kind of looked at Robert Johnson, founder of BET. He's worth around $600 million today. LeBron's worth about four eighty. million. Starting a media company at a time like this, this could turn into something really, really big. Because if we were to talk about a black media company today that reports on the news, who are you going to think about? There's nothing to be thinking about. Genius right there. So LeBron James, if we were to assess his next five moves, what's he thinking about? Whose playbook did he take? Well, I'm going to go be the greatest basketball player of all time. Michael did this. He went and owned the team. Kobe's doing this. Magic did this. Maybe I'm going to take a little bit from this. He took a little bit about from Trump on how Trump becomes a president because media. A little bit from Bloomberg because Bloomberg owned a media company to take his rock. So could there be that LeBron's next five moves may be at 18 years old, he's coming out saying, I'm going to go out there and be one of the greatest basketball players of all time, if not the greatest. Okay. He's going to score the most points. He's going to be the first basketball player ever to play on the same team with his son. What if that happens with him and Bronny? History, 40,000 points. Maybe win a chip or two with the Lakers. Maybe get your five. So number one move that he had was be the greatest basketball player of all time, which that gives you a bigger platform. You can't become LeBron James if you're not the greatest at what you're doing. He did that. Number two, what's his next move? After basketball, well, maybe we start a media company while I'm going about basketball. Check, he just did that. Number three, after I leave the NBA, maybe I buy a basketball team, similar to what Mike did. Check, he's going to do that. Then I'm going to be a billionaire, but not just to be a billionaire because I want to go play sports, but because I'm going to be a billionaire to have that money and be able to use it to do something bigger, which could lead to what? Could LeBron James end up wanting to run for office one day? I don't know. I'm speculating. But if LeBron James had his five moves in place, those may be some of the things that he's doing. So now your next five moves, that's LeBron James, right? We can look at a lot of different people's five moves and kind of go through their career, whether it's President Barack Obama or Trump or Musk or Bezos or Zuck or a lot of these guys. But what are your next five moves? So for me, a lot of people ask me and say, Pat, I know you wrote this book called Your Next Five Moves. I can't wait to get a copy of it. But what should my next five moves be? What should I be doing? You may be somebody that's not fully clear on what you want to be doing. What should your next five moves be right off the bat? I can give you a simple playbook right off the bat. Move number one, study industries and choose one. Listen, LeBron chose one industry, which is what? Basketball. Trump chose one industry, which is what? Real estate, okay? Zuck, choose one industry. All of these, Rock chose one industry is going in. And then from that industry in wrestling, he expanded into movies. Then movies is expanding. So he started off football, Miami Hurricanes. Then wrestling, boom, wider. Then boom, movies, wider. But you choose one industry at first to become the best at. Then you have a lot of opportunities. LeBron's basketball, Trump's real estate. What's yours? Choose one industry. Second thing you do once you choose the industry is who is the best person in that industry for you to go work with closely so you can learn every single thing this person is doing in that industry. So you go work for them if you can, or you go study the best ones if you can. So those are the second move that you have. What's your third one? When you work with this person that's the best in the industry, guess what you do? Become so valuable for them. Become so valuable to them. Do whatever you can to help them out, whatever you can. Bring so many different opportunities for this person and help them advance. Because what's your move number four? Move number four is one of two things going to happen with you. When that person leaves, you can replace them. Or when you're moving up, you can ask that person and say, listen, I know you got a lot of things going on right now. Help me. Let me run this company for you. Let me run this business for you. You're running five companies. Let me run one of them. Let me get equity here. But that person is going to look at, and you're going to be the most trusted advisor and an insider, royal person like you. A lot of opportunities are going to come your way. And if it doesn't come your way, guess what you do at that time? Go start your own deal. That's the simple playbook of five next moves. Choose an industry, go partner with the best person in the marketplace, become so valuable to them, ask to run one of their companies or own equity, and if they say no, you go start your own company. That's a simple next five moves. By the way, there's five moves for college graduate. There's five moves before you get married. There's five moves for parenting. There's five moves for developing leaders. Everything is about your next five moves. So today, I shared with you potentially LeBron's next five moves. Again, I'm speculating. Then I shared with you what I would be doing if I'm you. 
at some point saying, I want to go do something big with my life. That's your next five moves. But all of that is why I wrote this book, Your Next Five Moves. And the book comes out August 18, which is a few weeks from now. But prior to the book coming out, I'm giving away a chapter to anybody who goes out there and purchases a book. If you haven't yet gotten that chapter to read, it's one of the best chapters in the book. You can either click on a link below in the description, or you can go to yournextfivemoves.com to see the ideas of what things, different things you can do. One, if you buy a copy, we send you a chapter. If you buy three copies to give away as a gift, I send a one-hour strategy session over to you with four different quadrants of exactly what I would be doing to come up with my next five moves. And then that video will be sent over to you if you purchase a three book. So again, you can either go on the link below or go to yournextfivemoves.com or you can text Next move to 310-340-1132. Once again, 310-340-1132 with the number, name, next move, and we'll send you the link for you to order the copy. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.